important because uh, this best of five will determine who gets that spot and who may be bathing in the points of TSL4. Just, you know, cleaning themselves off in all of their wonderful points that they've just uh, that they've just picked up here. So let's introduce our players, starting with this guy in the southwest position as the Red Terran from Team Liquid. It is Tasia. You take the other one. All right. Tasia. All right. My, no problem, man. No problem. All right. The guy that doesn't need a team, that doesn't want anybody to help him out, the guy that can do it solo, the teamless, the one, the only, it is genius. Wonderful. Yeah, man. So nicely done. Right. So I just, I just screw up the normal intros, man. I do it my way. You do it your highway. way. That's right. Uh, Tasia had some pretty interesting games today, even sticking around during games where, you know, frankly, from the caster's eye, we're, we're quite lost. But, um, you know, we've seen guys bounce back from crazier stuff. And, and when so much is on the line, you know, it's not, it's, it's not a terrible thing, I don't think. If it's not going to affect your game mentally, if it's going to allow you to play the next game with a clean slate and not really worry about what happened in the previous game, um, I'm okay with that. Uh, I may, may not mean make for the most exciting games in the world, but it's understandable when you're dealing with that type of uh, you know that type of talent and competition throughout uh, the tournament. Um, sometimes that's how players have to put themselves into a better composure. So here we are in the finals, though. Best of five. Things are changing. We have a GSL finalists going up against the guy that won Korean Weekly after Korean Weekly, eventually getting him on the radar and really landing a killer spot uh, on Team Liquid as well, uh, coming from Slayer uh, originally. And mm -hmm. uh, now we have Tasia here in the grand finals. We're trying to represent Team Liquid, joining Rhett there in the qualifiers, and, of course, going up against Genius, as you said. The lone man, the man who walks alone. <laughs> yeah, and he uh, scouted out Tasia's strategy here, which could have freaked him out a little bit. Because imagine if you went in that base, see no barracks, see gas, and then return without catching the barracks. You're like, oh my god, proxy marauder, ah, and you start to freak out a little bit. But he did scout out the barracks here, and it is going to be a, a Reaper expand build. But it's not so much around the Reaper; it's more about the faster stim timing you get because of having a faster tech lab down on the barracks so because of this opening of course the reaper can maybe do some damage maybe not but the stim is going to enhance any sort of two base timing that Taja may want to try to pull off here gotcha well reaper is done and uh he now gets mobile here uh we'll see if stim comes next as he is sitting on that hundred gas uh and it does uh throws down almost immediately over on the other side now, Reaper making his way out. Probe did see that Reaper, but he has control of both towers right now, limiting the vision of his opponent. And right now, Genius, uh, his gateway is done. He's got his warp gate research well underway. And, uh, I mean, just starting to get, ooh, throws down that Nexus, and the Reaper may get a scout of it. We'll have to see. Uh, I mean, the interesting thing about this map and the Reaper is that the cliff uh, capabilities are, are a little bit stunted. Um... You know, because you can't go in from the backside. You have to go in from the natural no matter what. But SCV is going to move up here. And Reaper did not even going to go into the base. He saw what he needed to. The Robo Facility, the Gateway, and the Cyber Core doing what it needed to. And, of course, he also saw the Nexus. That's pretty crucial information that he gathered through seeing the Robo so early down here, uh, which is going to lean a lot more towards a very fast two-base Colossus, because now he knows that Stim's going to be down a little bit faster, so he got the Robo a little bit faster here. But he isn't taking the gas yet, which is very weird in the main base. He's built it, but he's taken out of the gas, and that leads us to believe uh, that he won't go for immediately Robo Bay. He may try a mortal play to accept any enhanced two base stim timings there to get immortals out a little bit faster, sorry. Um, but without the gas there, he can't afford to go observing, can't afford to go into robotic space. See, without the gas, he's only got, you know, nine gas right now as he builds the observer in a century. So uh, this is very interesting play here by Genius. And with a, such an early robo, you'd expect him to dedicate to that unless he's playing mind games with the early vision of the robo. But look, Tasia with a Reaper. How did it make its way in? It did, and it's going to get a kill, and it also can check the gas count. Yes, he uh, he actually got a really good time there. Uh, and it, just as the first sentry and the stalker were making their way out, 
he hopped in right into the natural and that uh, right from the natural into the main from that one platform that we were discussing earlier uh, so he gets the scout and uh, the observer saw it as well but uh, where are we at now now the immortals coming out a second one is queued up and that observer is making its way into Tasia's base, checking things out. Just Marine at this point, but I mean, all bio. Two reactors, uh, already stim, or already a stim finish. Going with combat shield right away. And uh, also we do have the factory finishing up with the observer. Checks out. He knows exactly what's going on right now. Yeah, this is super cool play from Genius Soul. Uh, as the Observer does die in the main base, he gets the information of three barracks and, of course, uh, plus one and many backs. Very normal play. But the recent style of Protoss play, against this fast stim timing, against early medivacs, they say, all right, it's coming. I'm going to get Colossus before it comes, or I'm going to get High Temple before it comes, or, or maybe I can grab a third base and have a really big army before he comes. But what Genius is saying is, I can't wait for this guy to come. I have a, I'm going to build a bigger army. I'm going to build a stronger army. I'm going to crush his attack. And then I'm going to crush him. That's what Genius is saying here with this movement, with this style of play. He's got uh, a couple of mortals out so fast, so early, where this is going to be almost impossible for Teja to deal with here. And I absolutely love this uh, decision making from Genius. Oh, he's going to get that probe. He does. And that will, uh, that will stop things a little bit here. So that was going to be a big victory. Did He didn't really see the army, but he is moving back over into position. That could be one giant bait, one hooked worm right there, as uh, he's going to be able to catch these stalkers warping in, and he is so far away from home right now uh, that he's going to have to go in. I mean, at this point, there, the bunker's going up. Oh, no. he Oh, he knows. He's going to even have to sack his natural. He's moving everything back. Is he even going to build a, a bunker at the, at the top of the ramp? Oh, What's man. he doing? I don't know. He's about to die. That's what the, the medivacs go to their death. They're like, guys, I will we'll die first. We will die first. But uh, Genius says, no, nope, that's fine. You're all dying at the same time. This is equal. And Tasia is in a world of trouble. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's going to, well, he might be able to repair. There he gets the repair off on that orbital command. But this uh, expansion has been effectively shut down. More SCVs are likely going to lose their lives. Is he going to get the force field on the back? Uh, his opponent's coming out to fight with everything. There's the guardian shield. Great force field splitting that army, not letting them even get close to this uh, to this army. And, you know, really the worst thing about this attack here for Genius is the fact that he's having to reinforce from so far away. Yeah, but that's actually the thing that that's hurting this is something I didn't really look at too well. Yeah. Is that without the reinforcements being right there and there, is that imagine if all those stalkers were there in that fight, that would have been over. And yeah. because of that grabbing that pile on a probe early on, the game will continue. Despite a lot of SCVs being killed, the game will go on a little bit longer here. But the problem for this now is that the power punch of those two immortals is gone. And this plus oh. one one, remember there's no upgrades for Genius, who went for this kind of all in attack. Right. It is now going to uh, you know, hurt a lot. There's four medivacs, and to be honest, even though I thought Genius would have won that there and then without really realizing about the pylon being so far away, is that now the tables have turned a little bit here where Tasia has the momentum. Definitely turned, and he could have done a lot to prevent that from happening. He could have force fielded the, the ramp. He could have just kept his opponent on the inside. That would, of course, allowed his reinforcements to get there much sooner. And now we do see Tasia looking for that pylon, and he's got to be thinking to himself, well, that's kind of weird. Um, you know, I, I, where was he actually attacking from? And little did he know, it's from way far away. And now this army in position. He does have quite a few force fields here. He's going to make another warp in. And if he catches that one, it'd be bad news. But it uh, looks like he will hold on to this a little bit longer. Another warp in does happen. And, of course, keep in mind the factory's actually inside the main, uh, watching everything. It's trying to be an imposter. It looks kind of like a Protoss building. I could see how you might think that factory is actually a gateway, but yeah, it's in there. And, uh, I mean, at 1 1 now, with a lot of medivacs here, it's going to be okay here. Look at that, doing a lot of damage, but there's still a lot of units here from Genius, but with 1 1, a decent micro, awesome micro, should I say, from Tasia. He's doing a lot of damage here, but two immortals raining down so much, but once the zealots go, the army is unwrapped, the present, the immortals pop out, and all of a sudden, Tasia, 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 Tasia. Yeah, he looks so good right now, taking out all those Immortals. He did lose quite a bit, but that was not the best positional engagement as well. And there it is, GG and Tasia takes care.